Woodman here. So I wanted to talk to you today about the uh, creature known as the succubus. The succubus is a creature from folklore um, and mythology across various cultures. Uh, succubus is typically de depicted as a very seductive female demon. The succubus preys upon human men, particularly during their sleep, often engaging in sexual activities. This creature's lore is rich with symbolic interpretations, blending themes of temptation, desire, and the supernatural. What are the historical origins of the succubus? Well, the concept of the succubus dates back to ancient times. Early mentions of similar entities can be found in Babylonian and Sumerian myths, where Lilith, a female demon, is said to seduce men and harm children. Uh, in medieval European folklore, the succubus was more closely or clearly defined, um, often described in religious texts as a demon sent by the devil uh, to corrupt souls through very lustful activities. What are some characteristics and depictions of the succubi? Well, the succubi are often portrayed as incredibly beautiful women, using their allure to attract men. So their beauty, therefore, is a facade. Beneath it lies a truly malevolent spirit that is intent on draining the life force from their victims. Traditional depictions include features like bat wings, clawed hands, and other demonic traits emphasizing their supernatural and ultimately sinister nature. What about their role in folklore and religion? In medieval Christian demonology, succubi were believed to be fallen angels or demons that were sent to tempt holy men and cause their spiritual downfall. This belief reinforced the idea that sexual desire, especially outside of uh, marriage, right, you know, not in a marital context, uh, could be dangerous and sinful. The succubus uh, served as a cautionary figure, warning against the perils of succumbing to sexual temptation. What are some psychological interpretations about this? Well, modern interpretations of the succubus often explore uh, psychological dimensions. Some scholars suggest that tales of succubi may have arisen uh, from experiences of sleep paralysis, a condition where individuals wake up unable to move and often report feeling a presence in the room. These experiences, coupled with cultural beliefs about demons, may have contributed to the succubus myth. What about the literary and cultural representations of succubi? Well, throughout history, uh, the succubus has appeared in literature, uh, art, and popular culture. From medieval texts like the Malleus Maleficarum to modern novels and films, the succubus embodies themes of forbidden desire and the dangers of giving into carnal instincts. This figure's enduring presence in storytelling highlights its deep-rooted impact on the human imagination. Still nonetheless, um, and I'll talk a little bit more about it towards the end, but there are some human parallels for this. So let's talk about the symbolism and the themes. The succubus symbolizes various themes, including the dangers of unchecked desire, the duality of beauty and danger, and the struggle between the sacred as well as the profane. In many narratives, the succubus represents a moral test, challenging individuals to resist temptation and to maintain their spiritual integrity. Let's look at modern adaptations. In contemporary media, the succubus has evolved, often portrayed with more complexity and depth. Modern succubi are sometimes depicted as 
perhaps even anti-heroes, or maybe even partially sympathetic characters, exploring their motivations and struggles. This shift reflects changing attitudes towards sexuality and morality, allowing for more nuanced storytelling. If you ever watched the show Lucifer, um, you know, that's definitely a, a show which is very more sympathetic to the plight of devils and demons as a whole, um, which kind of reflects the more modern day trend of psychologically looking at the subject matter, right? The Succubus, of course, has a, a male counterpart, and that male counterpart is known as the Incubus. While the Succubus preys on men, the Incubus targets women, engaging in similar acts of seduction and life force extraction. The Incubus shares many traits with the Succubus, highlighting the gendered aspects of these myths and their focus on sexual predation. Of course, keep in mind, we're also in a modern day and age where homosexuality is also uh, more tolerated than it has been in the past. And so it's not necessary for uh, every man to be wooed by a succubus or every woman to be wooed by an incubus. You can have the, the opposite scenario happen as well because uh, female on female and male on male scenarios are in fact entirely uh, possible at this point in time. So the succubus, these creatures of malevolence and temptation and moral struggle, uh, they continue to be relevant in human um, history and in current times, uh, whether they are a psychological phenomena or a complex character in modern uh, mythological narratives. The succubus character it ca captures the enduring human fascination about things that are supernatural and forbidden. Now, how I was going to relate this, uh, as I said towards the end, is that I, in fact, had a dream the other day that uh, I, in fact, felt that I was under attack by a succubus. I know it sounds far-fetched, but nonetheless, I know what I experienced. And so whether or not it was a projection of my own mind or something that really happened, um, there was definitely something about the experience that was extremely, extremely different from every other normal dream that I've had. In fact, I've had this dream about twice now throughout my life um, where a very specific individual uh, has appeared to me in a dream in a way that a succubus would and that the the power is almost so great that it almost like causes my sexual organ to respond in a way that it's like you don't even have control over it. It's like you're you're seduced by it. You're you're drawn into it. Resisting it is extremely difficult. And uh, this is just not your average teenage wet dream or anything like that. This is actually something far more powerful. Of course, time will tell whether or not this was a figment of my imagination, or in fact this was some type of real encounter. So I hope you enjoyed this content. Um, if you're new here, uh, welcome aboard. This is a safe space. If you're returning. I'm glad that you're back. Yeah, your support always helps this channel. I love you. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Take care. Um, this channel continues to need your support. And so I definitely appreciate your time here. Have a great day. Bye.